Your fur, once pristine, in the moonlight silver, is matted with the grime of the spirit world. A stark reminder of what you witnessed there. The choices, the understanding, the pain. A flutter of visions, images. You all are no longer the naive pups who crossed the veil for the first time. The spirits have branded you, etched their warnings onto your souls. Though faced with the utter despair and destruction of the end, Gaia's howl, the apocalypse that is set to come. You are Garu, you are protectors of Gaia, and these visions are actually your call to arms. But the task before you, it is a daunting one. Chicago, a city built on the bones of the worm, teems with these creatures of darkness. Each night they feast on the innocent, their power growing with every stolen life. You must tread carefully, hunt them in the shadows and strike them with the fury of a storm. In the hunt, it begins now. The moon hangs heavy, a silent witness to your oath. The scent of their corruption lingers in the air, a beacon guiding toward your prey. The shadows of Chicago will tremble as Garu walk among them. As your fellow Garu, who you just met with, make their way out for the evening, your pack has learned a new rite the right of shadow passage. So if you ever wanted to perform this right again, you could uh, with your own pack. You could perform the right and step sideways, as they call it, into the spirit wilds once again, should you ever want to do that. The veil is especially thin here, this place that you've met in the Shaganeski woods, where you now find solace in this cairn a place where you can come to meet and perform these various rites and rituals. Emery, your chest hangs heavy. You thought it was the initial drop into the spirit wilds, but now it lingers with you. It still hurts. But you all say your goodbyes to the various other Garu that you met with, and head back for the evening, back to your own homes, back to your families, Fen, back to your wife. Joe as well, you have a wife, don't you? Oh, no, I thought you me. did. It was just you, I uh, thought- No, it's just who, me. <laughs> don't, do you just live by yourself? Mm hmm You head back home. Emery. Well, not anymore. Emery, you also live alone. Yes? Or do you oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you uh stay with the uh, you know what? <laughs> Fen's here. We can't talk about that. <laughs> no, 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 Let the boy saying. speak. <laughs> uh, <laughs> tell him. Uh, tell the narrator. Go on. Jazz, do you, you also have your own space as well. You don't live with I your- I live at home with oh. my mom and Ben, so yeah. Okay, you, you do live with your parents. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I'll go over to Emery's or to Joe, where Emery may also be. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you all head back for the evening and rest for the night as this day did weigh heavy on all of your hearts. But nonetheless, you wake up the next morning and go about your day-to-day -day work. You all meet up again. You reconvene at the bar. Jazz, you're setting up for the day. For the, for the evening, I should say. It's later in the afternoon at this point. Emery, you 
wrapped up your work for the day. Maybe another day where you head into the city, you head in in the morning, you usually get back four or five o'clock, and you know this is right around the time that Jazz starts getting set up. You're the first one to enter for the evening. Uh, he'd probably like walk on over, kind of just like sit down at the edge of the bar, put his, uh, you know, arms on the bar, head down, head like to the side. Just, oh, still kind of hurts. She'll like walk over and kind of like put a hand on him, like, we gotta get you checked out. It's, it shouldn't be going on this long. Yeah, you know, if uh, if any big booty Latinas want to take advantage of me, I'm feeling very vulnerable right now. <laughs> there shouldn't be any others. There should only be me. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> what do you mean, any other? <laughs> no, but seriously, my, my heart hurts. Not that way. Like the, <laughs> ow, I think I'm dying away. Yeah. Well, when Dad gets here, we're, we'll we'll get that combo started. Like, okay. I just, it's got to be what happened to you, but no one else experienced that. So, why are they picking on you? <laughs> I mean, you're right. I'll I'd be that. jealous too. Look at this face. Yeah, I'd be jealous too. <laughs> wow. When I find who did it, they're going to be looking at my face instead, so. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't want to cross you. Only on the fucking court, though, am I right? You want something to drink? <laughs> yes, please. Okay. Can I actually, storyteller, could I do one of my gifts for Blessed Brew? Oh, yes. Yes, you can. I don't know can. how to do it. These teams. Um, <laughs> let's see. Blessed Brew. Um, this one, it... Do, 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 do. So, I believe... Um, the gift must target a subject within sight and hearing of the user. The Ragabash attacks the target uh, in a gift plus composure, insight, conflict, superficial. Okay, sorry. It's a good thing, right? It's like a, a support? Because if it's an attack, then obviously not. But, but I thought it was like a... The target must exert all their will not to lose temper. Um, we can come back to it if anything. I can read it. Yes. I'm at the ready. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to give him like some kind of like advantage essentially because he's he don't deserve um, it does help but it I think it like essentially um, can re-avert him if he's like angry at something um it, Ooh, it yeah yeah <laughs> um, i will pass it and he could decide to use it or not mm -hmm. just be like jazz special only use it if you need it well i'm not angry at anything um just to make it though uh jazz roll me a Rage check. <clears throat> you got it. Um... Okay, so you rolled success, so uh, you do not lose rage upon doing this. But uh, essentially, you... Um, the way you make this brew is... You actually kind of breathe breathe into it in a way. Um, Give it a little, blow a little kiss on it. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> and the gift that you've been given from your the moon in which you had your first change under allows this brew to be bolstered in some ways. And 
Emery, you know that it does. Um, so you could, you know that it, like, you could just kind of, it's like a nice tea. Um, you know, it'll stay hot for a while, so you don't necessarily have to drink it right now. You, you might have to reheat it later, but, uh, you know, you don't have to necessarily drink it right now if you want to. Oh. Ooh, I guess Sorry. we turn the music uh, on. And then <laughs> suddenly a patron goes Joe! to the box. <laughs> you better not be playing Uba's Steak again. Uh, and yes, Emery. Oh, hold on. Let me just crack this to get there. You know. Mm. Hold on. I gotta. I, come here. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta tip my local bartender. I'm just gonna... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You are very welcome, ma'am. And Fen, me. <laughs> uh, actually, no, Joe. Joe, you're the next to uh, enter into the bar this evening. Um, question, where did we leave off with the pups? Where are they? Took them uh, home. You took them to your home. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, they are under Which... Joe's care. <clears throat> Yeah, which walking into the bar like <laughs> he's in in his coat. There's like one in an inside pocket, another in another inside pocket. He has one on top of his head, and he's like holding one. And he's walking in, and he's just like, do 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 do. Stop it! Joe, Stop! That's my finger. About yes, the wolves in the bar. Yeah, but I just I can't leave them by themselves in my apartment. I didn't. I didn't pay for a pet deposit. Can you keep them downstairs at least? I just don't want other patrons coming in and being like, oh, I could bring my dog. Because then I got to deal with that bullshit. Like, what, these you're are, an exception, um, but... These are my service pups. Can you make some... Let's not go trivializing <laughs> that one for the unfortunate Joe. Bring them downstairs, man. All right. Thank you. And, He's like walking away, and he's like, Cecilia's really squeamish. And he just goes downstairs. They're cute. There's some chicken down They're there really for cute, him. But... Thank you. <sighs> what's, it, what's his fucking end game over here, dude? They're cute. I just, I honestly, if one person, if that Linda comes back again one more time telling me about, like, she wants to bring her dog in too, like, they're wild animals. Mm. Wolves wolves aren't gonna have collars and leashes. Joe okay. comes up from from the from the basement and he's like, You think if I got one of those like um those like baby carrier things that they'd be comfortable in it? I'd have to strap two on, but Yeah, you got like a six pack? <laughs> Only under this shirt, little man. <laughs> <laughs> As he pats his obviously rotund belly. Um, <laughs> uh, where's your dad? And Finn. I was going to you, say, your guess is as good as mine. You had a later work day today. Um, they kept you late at the park. So you are the last to arrive full in uniform as usual. Man, oh man. It's the last time. I let Cletus lock up after me, I tell you. Oh, hey, <laughs> You're late. Yeah, I had to go check out someone else's space, so that was basically another 20 acres I had to walk. So, um, that was fun. She cracks a beer, slides it your way, and be like, Sounds like you had quite a nature walk. Oh, indeed. Thank you, child of mine. You know exactly what I need. And you just downs the whole thing that's why I'm there favorite. it is she's just dub yeah make sure that's to call cal it. and tell him that's why i'm favorite you are the favorite cal knows it emory you too you're, you're, you're in look. third place uh i just quickly uh quick side note because i wanted to look it up because i realized in the character sheet, it was not the cor correct description. And I wanna make sure I get this right for anybody in the comments who might correct me. Um, so uh, it is a buff. Um, 
I all, I yes. wrote it wrong. I yes. realized I, wrote I realized the, the one was one was the crow one. Um, so yeah. this is actually a heart warden gift. Sorry, everybody, it's not a uh, auspice gift. Um, but uh, and you just actually it's one willpower to make oh. this brew, not a rage check. Um, and you I'll update that um, for you too. That was my bad. Yeah, all good. Um, so uh, basically, Emery, you would know that the, it um, strengthens your mental fortitude. Um, so it uh, you can resist any kind of hostile supernatural mental ability. Um, add a number of dice equal to the glory of the gift user. Um, so uh, whatever your glory is, you can add dice um, to that. But Basically, yes, it is a buff. So you uh, would feel my my drink. sorry, my glory or Jazz's glory. Um, I believe what? it's uh, the gift user. The gift. So it would yeah. be Jazz. Be you. It would be. Yeah. It would be Emery. He's the user. Oh, the gift user. Yes. Yeah, so it would be Emery. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> I'll Emery's update like, it. I got no. What if? <laughs> I got it's no my first glory. time using it. So <laughs> speaking in hypotheticals, if uh, no one put any pips in glory, <laughs> what would they do? Um, you you know, you just you just feel okay. Um, I feel yeah. fucking great. <laughs> um, actually, and you can make you make a whole like carafe of this, um, because apparently you can make it for. Uh, oh, the nice. entire pack. So sick. We mm. each get a very special jazz <laughs> special. <laughs> got a got a growler full. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I have to make this jazz. comment. It's been jazzed up. You know what? For you, Dad, I spit in it. Okay. Love you. <laughs> Don't I mean, question I li I my special. Well, listen, it's someone who has literally changed your diapers, you think a little spit's going to really affect you? Yeah, me? so it shouldn't be a problem if I breathed on it. Yeah. I just smelled... I mean, it's just unsanitary. Are the... <laughs> the pups here? They are downstairs. Yeah. They're downstairs. Mm, okay. Yeah. Gilbert did this really cool... Or, sorry, Felipe did this really cool thing yesterday. Um, they, like, jumped on the bed. and they it kind of spun around and you know kind of like what dogs do it's really nice best night of sleep ever that's awesome you uh yeah. you, you been to the park with them um no a little hard to manage kind of outside yeah. of me holding them so okay. and i also kind of figured like looking around at everybody we didn't want to go too public with them yet so oh, not not a not a park with a whole bunch of humans i'm talking about the national yeah park. no i know what you mean yeah oh, no right. still it's you want to kind of get them more comfortable before they let them yeah. roam yeah, yeah, yeah a little bit yeah i'm having a really good time <laughs> oh awesome awesome he looks at emery i'm, work, I'm working on it I'm working. go ahead man I've said my piece. What? What? Mm -hmm. no. They're wild oh. animals, man. So are you. <laughs> I wear clothing. Sometimes. I, mean... I can communicate with other humans. Can... Kind of. What do you mean Ooh. kind of? It's like my whole ass job. Mm. He does uh, do it often. A storyteller. Yes. As a heart warden, I have a thing. Yes. Um, We're doing things. Man, I should keep. You mind right. if I um, I bring one of the pups up here? Oh boy. Uh yeah. Which would you? What would? Why you want to kind of just hold most, one, or what do you want? Most well behaved, would you say? Oh, it's gonna be Celine. She's yeah. a sweetheart. Yeah. All right, I'll be. I'll be. Right, right back. It won't be for long. Relax, everyone. Yeah. I just need to to, to test something. Um, he's gonna walk downstairs. Mm -hmm. She's the one with the red stripe on her back. I think I can figure <laughs> it out. Um, he walks downstairs <laughs> and he looks at the pups. I'm assuming they're in their little play area. Yes. All right. Um, Celine, and as a heart warden, I can speak to animals. <laughs> 
Oh. Beautiful. Well, damn. That means I can too. <laughs> yes. Because I, I remember I talked to um, to Machiavelli. Machiavelli. Right. Yes. I believe that was a gift of the stag. From the um, stag. Uh oh, you, Dad, there's something at the storyteller. I'm so sorry. Uh, nope, it's okay. Um, okay. that's that's all right. Um, let me. Is it a gift that you have, or? Hold on. Let me make sure. I want to I'm also not make talking sure. Talking out of my ass. Mm. But I swear I saw this in there. You might not be wrong. Um, we'll come back to it. You guys talk up at the bar. Yes, I gotta do some research. So, uh, you guys excited? For what? Going hunting. Oh, I've never and, been hunting. I know, it's your guys' first. I'm so, I don't know, like I, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. You keep saying that, man, but, like, what are we hunting? You know what we're hunting. Yeah. Worms. We're going, we're going worm hunting. What, from that? As long as it's the ones that fucked with his heart. But, I mean, I don't care about worm politics, if that's it. That's not the reason for us going hunting. I mean... Whatever stems from it afterwards, fine, you know, politics be damn. But it's just more so of like the feeling. Like you guys haven't experienced it, especially not here. It's something different. Like running through the woods, howling. It invigorates you, but this. This is a different level. The scent. The sounds. Feeling your own heart just vibrate within your chest. And then you see it. And then everything just gets real. Mm. Mm. You're lying if I didn't say that didn't sound exciting, but he doesn't need any more feeling of heart. I mean, it was really exciting the last time. This is different. I don't know, man. What? Like, we barely even saw anything. You gonna go off of what? A, a silhouette? How many people look like that in Chicago? It's not, it wasn't just a silhouette, like it was a feeling, a smell, like it's, uh, why are you both not excited for this? Why, why am I'm I the only excited. one? Here? Just, I'm excited to, like, do the running and the hunting part. I just don't know if I understand why yet. Fully. Okay, let me, let me put it to you this way. Emery, when you first saw Jazz, when you really first saw Jazz, what did you feel, respectfully? Terror. <laughs> and? We were kids, so. <laughs> and? That's the whole tweet. Jazz, what I did under, you feel? I, under, I understand. I understand. I don't think what you I'm, do. What I'm getting at is that I am allowed to be hesitant. That feeling is valid. I, you don't need four swinging heads running at whatever they're going towards sure i'll stay with you i'll be there what it what is what is wrong with you what are you hesitant for this is you it's running through your veins what you're hesitant boy what i woke up <laughs> with something in here and being told that i killed other worms i had no clue what's what's preventing that from happening again why would you want to prevent that from happening again because i had no control over it nor do i have any memory that's the point is that how it always uh, is is that like a normal part of it no uh emery here kind of tapped into a side of himself mm -hmm. that kind of enhanced that but that's that's what it is. That's come on. You you can't sit here and tell me the thought of you being so fucking strong didn't just You know what I'm saying? Strength comes in so many different flavors, Joe. Yeah, and this I've flavor comes with blood. I, I just 
we hear you, Joe. We're just, we're new, like you said, you know? Right. Yeah. I just want this to be I good for we'll you fully, kids. I don't think we'll fully understand it until we're there. And I just, my whole thing is I want to make sure whatever we're doing, we're doing it for a reason and not just because a vision pointed out some silhouettes in the city. Yeah. That's all. How are you even going to find this guy? With this? What is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, you're just, you're just going to walk around. I'm going to toucan Sam it. Just <laughs> 10 square miles just with big sniffs. Huge sniffs. Look at these nostrils. Oh, no. I see him, nostrils. man. I'm just surprised that as many times you break in your nose, that thing still works, bro. <laughs> okay. You call me the next time you lose another limb. I was waiting. Yeah, for you call it. me the next waiting. time that your puppies have to go somewhere that's not your basement. Yeah. You do not talk let's, about the puppies let's in that leave way. The you know what? Out of the conversation. I'm going to go see what right, your dad no, you're is right, doing. You're right. You you're sit right, up here, right, you talk right, to your right, girlfriend. Right, and the next time you come over, your dirty ass draws off of my goddamn tub. Joe? Joe? Joe, I apologize. I apologize. Can I? Am I allowed to apologize? You're allowed to apologize. Joe, I'm sorry for bringing the puppies into this. It is an ongoing issue. It is different from this. I'm sorry. You want a sandwich? <laughs> she clicks the remote and the reason starts playing. <laughs> Who was staying and a chicken sandwich? He folds. <laughs> 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 Thank you. I'm sorry. Right, I'm, just, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm like, sorry. I love you. I just, I just, I just really want you to, you guys to be really like excited. I understand. About this is your first. There's I can be I can sandwich. be there for reasons <laughs> that are beyond my own. Is that is that okay? Yes, yes. Right, you're, cool. cool. That's fine. Yeah. New Garu and your new fangled ideas. But I appreciate you. Appreciate you too, Joe. We love you, Joe. We just yeah, we're just new. He legit takes the sandwich and turns, and he's like, "It's <laughs> <laughs> about to mess this up." <laughs> um. Fan comes up from the basement, his khaki's torn. He's like, well, that didn't work. Um, <laughs> <laughs> as, as we figured out, I cannot talk to animals, so they would just piss As, uh. as Hart Gordon, you do um, have more of a connection to uh, animals, um, and you do get advantages on, like, animal can or survival roles. Um, so you could, uh, you, you could get more of a sense of these pups probably than the rest of your your pack um but yeah you you head down there and uh you just kind of look at them and stare Where and they all from <laughs> then they start they start gnawing at, at your at your pants uh okay <laughs> y'all just showed up and now you're my best friend's kids i'm okay this and with that, you see, uh, you all see this. Jazz, you notice it first because your eyes are kind of always on the patrons who are walking in. You see a woman walk in. She has long brown hair and wearing like a pants, or not a pantsuit, but like a suit and skirt combo. Um, she looks business oriented, um, not your usual type of patron. Um, and she's carrying a clipboard and she walks right up to the bar and she says, uh, excuse me, are you the proprietor of uh, this establishment? Yeah, what are you, the health inspector? Um, no, my name is uh, Celia, I didn't come up with the last name, uh, Celia, Celia, <laughs> Celia Barnes. My name is oh, Celia yeah. Barnes, and I am with the uh, Cook County Animal Control. I received a report this week of uh, some wild animals that had uh, turned up at the bar, um, and uh, we have a car right around the back here to, uh, to, to make sure that they are taken care of. Mm, Joe stops see. eating a sandwich. <laughs> She's going to like kind of give him a, a little side glance and just be like, we haven't seen them since. I think they just went out back to the forest. Hmm. That's interesting because the person who called in um, reported that uh, she saw you taking the wolves uh, in. 
And uh, yeah, and then we returned them to the forest. Hmm. We haven't seen them since. Roll me. Uh, one moment. Roll in me. In my bar. A, no, question me in my bar. Um, roll me a manipulation subterfuge because you you are lying. Where's fucking Linda Rose? There it is. Okay. I'm ready to step in with my nonstop bullshit at a moment's notice. <gasps> Gasp. Um, I know, one right? Success. <laughs> <laughs> one success. Oh, step in. <laughs> um, she looks a little unconvinced. Look, I know little little cubs are very cute. Little Lady, pups I got are no very reason cute. to want to keep wolf cubs. I run in a bar here. Does it look like I have wolf cubs right now? We do need record of where these uh, pups were taken to, so I will need you to take me to the location of where you dropped them off. For Lady, what? I'm working. Wait, for wait, what? wait. For what? She she kind of looks over at you, like oh at God. you, Joe, with a bit of a. <laughs> he's he's do, he's doing this. He's like, for what? Ah, <laughs> uh, is this Joe? Sorry, one of my patrons, Joe. Why don't you go check on uh, the fen and back? She doesn't say dad because she doesn't want it to seem. I don't suspicious. know, Jess. I, I feel like I prefer to stay here and enjoy my sandwich. All right. Enjoy your sandwich and your drink then and let me handle this. Look, lady, I don't got time to leave my bar to go show you where we dropped them off. You got a map? I'll point it out. We are going to need to do some paperwork about this, actually. Um, and she pulls out uh, a list of papers about where you last saw the wolves, where you took them to, uh, if you had any contact with them, um, what uh, if, you know, checking for anything like rabies, things like that, and making sure that Basically, everything is accounted for in this encounter that you had the other day. Um, the time that you left them, how many there were. She hands when all you the need papers. When um, Well, I mean, we're here now, so uh, if you could fill these out And the now. bar is open now, so I can work on this tomorrow. Would you like to sling drinks instead? Come on back here. Roll me, a, now roll me a charisma <laughs> and, charisma and persuasion. Okay. Meanwhile, fan downstairs. One success. <laughs> One success. Um, I, I would like to do something. If that's. Yes. Okay. I would like to use gaze of the hunter. Super excited about this. Oh, okay. That's fine. Jazz is like, we are human. We are human who have not done anything with wolves. But if you want to do something on the side. Bob, Papa Bear pissed. He's about to go in. <laughs> All right. So, uh, da, 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 da. it's a manipulation and intimidation role uh, with the difficulty of six for me. Difficulty of six? That's what it says. Okay. I was really hoping she'd come behind the bar and try to work it while I fill out some paperwork. Um, <laughs> where is that? Um, the sheet. Red Talon gift. Change of <laughs> She's like looking through it. Have I had my distemper shots? We don't got that on tap. <laughs> <laughs> we only serve beer. And if you're special, then you get the jazz special. AKA my lord. <laughs> Hold on, maybe maybe John needs to fill this out. I don't think he's had that shot. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you let me know if you want to let that pass. Uh, one moment. Um, Take your time. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't see this in the. Um, what are you looking for? Uh, Gaze of the Hunter. Hold on. I just want to make sure that 
Okay, so don't this touch might gaze. be <laughs> this might actually be from an older edition of Werewolf. Um, oh, my links yes. have failed me. Yes, um, I was like, that sounds like the the that I was like that sounds like an older edition uh, rule. Okay. Um, so hey, we're all learning. <laughs> you know, that's all right, but that's all right. I can. If you I want. Go ahead. Uh, I was gonna say, um, I will allow you to intimidate her, um, Joe. So if you want I could to roll, do stare down if you want. That I learned yeah. it from my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Joe, roll me a manipulation and intimidation. Um, and what is it that you would like to say to her? Uh. Oh, what did I do? Okay, I got three successes. Um, I think, like, Joe just kind of, like, looks. He doesn't stand. He just turns in his chair and he goes, I think it'd be best if you just left the paperwork here and we'll get it back to you when we can. She looks at all of you. She stares at you, Jazz. Then she stares at you, Joe. And then even Emery, she looks at you. Her eyes gaze to all three of you. Roll me all three of you, just a wits and awareness. Wits and awareness? Yeah, awareness and wits, I should say. Ooh, mm-mm. Too angry. Oh, there it is. <laughs> well. <laughs> Five successes. <laughs> Five, oh, three. That's wild. Zero. Uh, zero. One's a crit. Hold on. Yeah, I got zero successes. Yeah. I got three. Successes. He's eating a sandwich. <laughs> um, where did any of those have uh, those those ang those those fangs on I had a, them? By a chance? singular one. A singular one. I got okay. a singular one as well. Okay, so neither of you got no fangs. A brutal. But I did outcome. get one with stars. Okay. Um, so. Jazz, you rolled the highest, so you notice this. Something seems off about this woman. You feel some pull from the triad, which is what you know as the weaver, the worm, and the wild. You're not sure which one she's pulling the energy. It might be the worm might be the weaver but you definitely feel a pull from her something feels off about this woman but oh god i was gonna say but joe's words did linger with her she leaves the papers on the on the counter jazz takes them without removing her eyes just the entire time staring into her soul takes the papers puts them behind the bar Thank you. Have a great day. Leave the bar. She actually doesn't say anything. And it's almost, in this moment, feels more chilling than it does anger. Something leaves a chill. Emery, is there something you would like to do? Is, is she starting to walk out? She is beginning to take a few steps back. Oh, I, excuse me, miss. Can we get a, a business card so that we, I can return these papers to you, please? She looks at you. I don't have any on me. Hmm. Is that right? But if you'd like to call Cook County Animal Control to follow up, I'm sure they'd be happy to talk to you. And who should I say that I spoke with? Celia Burns. And your agent number? Give me one moment. She's going to roll something. Didn't you mm. say your name was Celia Barnes? <laughs> <laughs> the, God, story, the storyteller Not me sweats. looking at the sticky notes. I'm like, wait a minute. God, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. Um... <laughs> She spouts some numbers. 417-3826. 
Don't call that number. <laughs> don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. Thank you. And she steps away. The entire time, Jazz has not. Her eyes have been locked on her until she is out that door. Can I sense if she's like left the vicinity? She's not coming around the back or some bullshit? You do smell her presence fading out in the distance. She like turns Okay, to time to do go. some Googling. Yeah, that was not human. super weird, right? All right, I'm back. What Super happens? weird. Fen has rips in his pants. Well, some... I don't know. Hmm? Some dude just, like, walked in. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. One walked in. Okay. I was like, oh, oh, oh I'm part animal control. We were there with wolves here. Chicago's got way too much. Way too much on their hands in order to follow up days later with a report like that. It was way what? shady, dude. She wasn't. Yo, human. I'm there I'm was a something park off ranger. The, the, I haven't had any reports on any of this. What are you talking about? I know. About? She's not who she says she was. I'm telling you. I don't know if she was worm or not, but she was not human. Where's That's she why go? she didn't have a card. Yeah. Bet you that oh, oh, I'm part of animal control. Oh, I don't have any business cards on me. Get the fuck out of here. Joe, we gotta be careful with these bulls. Oh, muted. you're muted, Joe. She said my baby had rabies. She did not say your babies had rabies. Then why is it saying on the paperwork Joe, if they got asking, rabies or not? It's not saying. It's Listen. not saying. Dude. They ain't got no damn rabies. Yo, my baby's got rabies is a pretty good bar, though. I'll make it the next shot. How about that? If anybody got you want rabies, a rabies shot? Meat. That's actually a pretty good name. Yes, she goes and writes that down. Got, you got plenty of rabies, we promise. With a little that. business suit. Cook County Wolves bullshit. Wolves don't get rabies, dude. Stupid ass lady. But why? Why come here about the wolves? Well, somebody report, probably reported it. Who reported it? Fucking Linda. Fucking Linda, bro. What is Linda do? I said I had this hand. All right, if she comes in tonight, we're going to have right, a little talk with her. Would Jazz... Jazz knows her bar. She knows her regulars. She knows when new people come in and can kind of gauge who they are for the most part. Is there anyone who has been out of place that she would have noted? Anyone out of place? Like, throughout the last couple of weeks? Like, someone came mm. in with, you know... Just someone new. I'm, I'm just wondering if she was alone kind of deal. If there was anyone kind of informant, anything like that. Um, roll me. I'm trying to remember what a memory test is. I think it's, um, uh, memory test. Uh, no, there's like two. Uh, you know what? Roll me just a investigation in and. Yeah, intelligence, intelligence and investigation. Okay. Mm. Nah, she ain't seen shit. <laughs> you don't remember she any hasn't actually really been there that much too. patrons, correct? Yeah, it's hard to gauge. When Jazz brings up that she had the smell of the worm or the worm. weave, mm -hmm. um, I think. And like seeing Joe a little upset as well as Emery. I think uh, Fen would. We're just using all the werewolf stuff tonight. Which mm -hmm. it. Um, I have Character gift. sheet. Glad I, glad I got my book <laughs> open, everybody, to, to look at all these things. <laughs> my wonderful werewolf book. <laughs> Sacred boundary. Sacred boundary. Mm. Uh, this this is also uh, sac my, my safe, yeah, secure. Like Whatever safe house. Yeah. Oh, so you already have it on the safe house. Yeah. This is the bar is the safe house. Okay. Well, this one is the gift allows a werewolf to quickly mark a boundary uh, using. <laughs> I see. I see the list here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna pee in my bar? <laughs> using what? 
Using what, a, Craig? It's I'm an not option. Pee on your bar. I'm there are options to your mark bar. your boundaries. <laughs> One of them Do is not your pee review. in or around my bar. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time somebody peed in. I'm this calling bar. mom if you do that. No, oh. listen, listen, listen. <laughs> everything's fine. All right. Um, <laughs> everything's fine. Applying uh, suitable materials, the user marks the boundary either between two objects or in a circle, i.e., circle around the mm -hmm. The length of the boundary is limited to 10 meters per dot of glory, uh, so that'd be 20. For me okay uh all movements over this boundary become known to the user as if glimpsed no matter the user's location so long as the boundary is active any supernatural concealment requires a wits plus glory test to notice um with it i'm not gonna read all of that all right uh the gift user only has one boundary active at any time so okay any I supernatural need... concealment requires a wits plus glory test to notice so that means that if there was something, you would have to roll a wits and glory. Sometimes the descriptions of these, like I like, have to read a couple of times for them to make sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I'm the same. The boundary remains active for a day and night. Okay, yeah. So you can make this. Um, you can make this boundary because um, it's not something that you do it once and it's like, okay, you're good. You have to keep mm -hmm. doing, keep doing it. it. Um, so the boundary remains active for a day and a night or until the objects anchor anchoring it are moved or destroyed. Um, a gift user can have only one boundary active at any given time. Okay, so yes, you can make a boundary here if you want to. I would do it because it's only 65 feet. Um, I would do it mainly yeah. in, in, in the space where the pups are. Okay. Yes. Which means that they're gonna have to freaking stay in my bar, isn't it? Well, I mean, they're not bothering anyone. You could move. I mean, if you want to do this elsewhere and move them elsewhere, yeah, you could, you can do that if you I want. Could just pee at Joe's place is fine. <laughs> yeah, peeing in my house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, sm I smelled those pups. They peeing all over the place. All right, don't don't get on. They're not me peeing in my house either. About... You bet. Wait, you. Mm, it's up to you. A lot of people you. are talking shit about my pups. But there are it's a not lot a good day. Of innocent people here too. I just I don't want to. No, of course we're just gonna figure out whoever this person is, and why they're come showing up out of nowhere, to figure out why a bunch of animals showed up in basically the forest. And there's an issue. yeah. You know what? <clears throat> now feels like a really good time to take out the trash. She said she had a truck around back, which is. Yeah, I'll go with you. Suspect. Yeah. Um, you head out <laughs> to take out the trash, and you don't see a truck, but it has been a couple of minutes, so maybe it did leave already. She did, uh, Jazz did sense her presence leave, so. Do we have cameras? Does Jazz have cameras at the bar? I mean. <laughs> okay. Um, it <laughs> Do you want to roll for it? Do you want to roll for it? Look. Uh, can I roll for it? <laughs> One I would camera. say the, there are probably are cameras, but they're, they absolutely don't work. <laughs> they're not. Uh, there's not a lot of them. There's like one at like the front entrance in case there's any like things that happen at the front door or whatever. Um, and there's one on the side. It captures some of the area, but not the full circumference of the bar. It's like in black and white, a picture every and it's like old 10 CCTV. seconds. <laughs> like they still use like video the werewolves. tape. Why would I need a camera? It's still so. transposed on VHS. I was about to say we have to we have to show them how to use VHS. You gotta, you gotta pull the tapes out to take a look at them. Yeah. I swear, come uh, come Christmas time, I know what present I'm getting you. God, it's awful. Hey, Emery. Uh, before we go They're back in, werewolves. Uh, how you doing? I mean. My heart still hurts. Your heart still hurts? It's and it's long. like, not going away. Okay. Uh, you said that before, um, when I got you out of that sewer drain. And then your heart stopped. So, that's a little concerning. Now, don't relax. Calm down. I'm <laughs> fine. You don't want to ask. I may have someone we can 
discuss these things with. However, it's something that the whole pack's gonna have to agree with because it is not someone who is uh, a friend of Gaia. Do you want to divulge your secrets? Some little worm spawn, well, he's a, he's a doctor. He was able to figure out what happened with you and whatever happened with your heart. Oh, the the one in the sewer? Well, he, he was there, but he didn't like it that much. He was... They, they I, the like one it. who had... Yeah, the one that got you... Sidebar. Own. What? So, like, this is here. Mm -hmm. Is there just, like, a copy? What do you mean a copy? No, he has the original one. Okay, sure, but, like, is it just fucking, like, Emery Jerky now, or know what they do with the arm i don't want to know what to do you okay honestly, i don't know you know said oh this is your first arm. time so like i thought it was maybe not yours i don't know man no i don't i, I don't get knocked out and and controlled by you no know that's not fair i apologize well you don't have a like weird opposite pacemaker in your sternum now do you okay do you want my help in this you're situation? not wrong i'm just frustrated it's not as though i'm taking it out on you it's mostly that, like, treating it. I'm not this a kid, is, man. I'm not trying to treat you like a kid right now, Emery. I'm asking for your opinion on the subject. Now, would you like the assistance of my friend who may possibly, you know, turn on us at any moment? Well, you use the word friend, so I'm friend, good, friend bro. Friend is strong. Friend is very strong. Okay. I threatened his All life right. multiple times. <laughs> well, that's very on par with you. So, that's how we became friends. Uh, see. Are you out there? Jack, where the Jack, fuck did you come Joe, from? Yeah. Y'all can, can just hear us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. You guys Jazz are outside. At the bar, like you guys can hear mean, all of his this. Heart <laughs> what do you mean his heart <laughs> stopped? <laughs> Thought we were still in the bar. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Music's too loud in the bar. <laughs> that's why we play it loud. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I. Do you want you want me to broach the subject with her? Do you want to do it? No. Okay. I got a lot of explaining to do with the recent happenings. Um, it's one of the reasons why I was late today. I found something in my my forest. Uh, got it. We might have to discuss. So yeah. Okay. But yeah, we'll, I don't we'll, know. We'll, we'll I just I feel weird like getting into your disagreements. I feel like you're two dogs playing tug of war, and I'm just in the middle going. Hang, 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 first hang, off, hang. first off, there's no disagreement. I'm talking to my daughter in a very professional and loving way. There, is, there are no disagreements. We just, we just that's how we talk to one another. That's all. And you are part of this family, so if you want to hop in, go ahead and hop in. You might get your ass kicked, but you know that's your choice. I'm good. I the the way that you two deal with conflict is very different. So, well, Emery, if, I'll st I'll stand in the back with pom poms. Emery, if you don't let out your emotions, sometimes they're just gonna build up on you. No, I get it. I am healthily discussing my emotions. Both of you just raise each their voice at each other and then talk over each Are other. You? You were really angry at that pharmacy place we were at. You tried to go toe to toe with me. D yes, I. You know this story. I don't remember that. All right, you don't have to talk to me I, about there's, it. There's, there's, there's a different level of composure in this form than anything else. I'm still like trying it, trying different things on to see what fits well. I may, like, you are very experienced at this. You are a soldier in multiple wars. I am not that person. I'm still figuring it out. You might have had officers and friends who were peers that might have also been superiors. I'm getting it from you. I'm getting it from Joe. I'm getting it from you talking to Joe. I'm, I'm like, I'm, we built a depth chart. I'm in last right now. Like, I'm still trying, but I'm coming in last. So, like, sometimes it's weird. But 
I gotta figure that out, man. I, I appreciate your support. I am there. I love you. Love you too. It only, there's nothing that substitutes experience. And I am gaining it the way that I want to gain it. I don't want to gain it by having something trigger in here and then me not even knowing what I did. Understandable. So I'm, um, that's testy. It's testy. All right. I hear you. I'm listening. Right. I'll go. I'll, I'll, I'll go back. I'll go back to the original question. Do you want to broach the subject with her or should I? I can broach it. All right. You go in first, bud. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, the music's so loud in here. Turn, Joe, turn that damn Hoover stack down. <laughs> Third time. How many reasons do you need? We're just oh, one, man. but it's four. There's four of them downstairs. I'm having a very difficult evening. Right. Huddle up, everyone. Oh, the Cubs are on. Oh, it can wait. All right. Everybody get together. I have some uh, news of sorts. Okay. Uh, so two two things I need to talk about with everybody. Um, Emery might have something happening with this heart area and the worm. Moving on to the next subject. Uh, I found something in my forest that might uh, assist in figuring out about Emery's heart. And? Oh, um, and you, we, we established storyteller that Silas Jr. has left the, uh... Yes, you have a small pebble. And when you look closer at the pebble, it gleams red. There's blood inside of it. And it's pretty nasty to you. Oh, I have it on me? Uh... Or is it in a you you spot? know where it's in a specific spot in the woods. If you hadn't grabbed it, you could you you I know it's there. Thing. I don't know what that I was gonna say we would have immediately smelled that coming in. <laughs> I'd be yeah. like, oh, what is that? It's like Why? Down, it's, it's down the way. He, the last time I had a conversation with him and his brother, he told me that was his way of getting in contact with him because they don't use phones. What? Oh. Oh, uh, a uh, individual I had communications with last time I was in Chicago. You're dancing. You're doing the one, that thing. Uh, the, the one I gave Emery's arm to. You hanging out with- Sorry. Wait. Oh, hanging out, pause. <laughs> Joe, Joe don't I. do that. Don't do that, Joe. I mean, listen to what you're saying. With. No, go ahead. Yeah. Are you you hanging out with worms now? The f what I'm was... hanging out with worms. Interesting. Interesting when I'm the only one that went into Chicago, brought this knucklehead back when y'all asked me to, without, without causing you're any havoc or killing any dancing. worms. What is the benefit here? Why why would this help us? You're going to let me so You know so? damn well I would have went. Or waited. So, I know you go, Joe. That's why I love you. Moving on. Thank you. When I found Emery, there's, there was a, a device or something. Something They started talking a whole bunch of science nonsense. I couldn't keep up with it, to be honest with you. But they said something happened that it was uh, placed on Emery, and it was affecting his heart, causing him to rage, causing him to do things that he probably usually wouldn't do, like, I don't think I've ever seen Emery throw a punch, let alone kill somebody. So I, 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 I am interested. They were talking about maybe possibly a cure for whatever's going on with him. Now I'm not stupid. A cure is is a, a leap coming from a worm's mouth, but it's the one lead I have, 
and now y'all saying somebody coming in smelling like worms smelling like the weaves smelling like not us and so that's what i got why would the worms be coming up with a cure for something the worms did because the worms don't like each other they always think, fighting all the time listen i'm open to this i'm open because i want to make sure you guys are okay that's what i care about however if this fucker does anything to make this worse i will find every single one of them i want to be clear i'm just You're saying i'm open to this but it just sounds fishy of course it sounds fishy but do we have options that is all i'm saying I don't trust it at all, to be completely honest with you. But out of all the worms that I'm hanging out with, apparently, that's the only one that I probably would have left alive during our conversations. We could force them to fix it, Mary. I mean, yeah, that was my, that was my, that's what I thought we were gonna do. What y'all was gonna do? Like do we were gonna have force tea. coercion? Because, because you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to turn a new leaf, Joe. You know, you can't just what go leaf? Out. What leaf? We we do. Hey, listen. Okay, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the only one who's actually sane in this fucking group. Hey, whoa. But I'm hearing. Mm, I'm hearing. That we're gonna waltz into the city. We're gonna have a meeting with some Doctor Worm, and he's gonna fix little Emery's heart. Joe, you just you, you catch more flies with honey, man. Look, I'm not. We're not. It's like trying we're not to get catching into a club flies. And we're killing worms. Okay. I'm trying to I'm trying to catch one to get this thing out of my chest. Yeah, Joe. Listen, we killed, we killed a doctor. We killed a doctor, right? We rip his head off. Ah, yeah. oh, blood everywhere. That, that, I'm that's with that you. shit you like. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did we fix it? Sounds Emory? good. What? Well, no, because we would only kill the doctor if he doesn't fix Emery. And then we'll go to the next one. And then we'll go to the next one. And then we will continue until somebody has the gall to listen. I list oh before we get any deeper just as much as everyone here i want to make sure that he is okay he is as important to me as you two are but i don't see any success in having coffee with a fucking worm i wouldn't think of coffee you know the way i see it joe the last time emery went missing he could have came back dead and yeah you came back without an arm, and I'm still pissed about that. But you could have not come back at all. But doesn't that just prove how strong he actually is? I mean, he walks around here talking about all this good that mental health stuff. But look, what's going look. On inside. Yo, I watched that boy drop. Sorry, Emmy. Drop dead in front of me. You left Finn. that part out. Finn, how many explosions have we been through? How many people have we torn through in the war of Chicago? And we're standing here too. This is his medal. This is, these are his stripes. Yo, I'm not going to talk like the boy ain't here. All right. The boy isn't us. And he didn't and go through what we went through. All right. Everyone should have their own journey. And he looks to Emery to make sure he said that correctly. So we're not just going to assume that he's going to go in guns a blazing like we did during the war we can't just assume that so i'm gonna look to emery emery what do you want to do i think that doctors perform their best operations not under a gun fine joe i think your presence is intimidating enough to know that if someone is gonna choose to do the wrong thing, that's probably gonna be the last choice they make. And the last thing to go through their head most likely will be your fist. And I'm he gets cool real that. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, he gets go ahead. he gets real close to Emery. Like, cause I assume he's standing like where the basement entrance would be. And you better fucking remember that. If you die on me, if you die on me 
That's it. I'm gonna check on my kids. You know I'd return as some friendly ass ghost and just make some stupid don't, rom com don't joke with about you, bro. That. Don't joke about Emery. that now. Like, they, it, it, like from, from back in your mouth <laughs> from the basement stairs you know what the fuck i mean if i show up to this bar and your cheeky fucking face isn't here i really wouldn't like it Thank no you. more check on my kids all of us <laughs> in that corner honestly i want to make eye contact with the person who took your arm i just want to have a conversation that's all, all right Okay, well, your dad's sitting right there. So. <laughs> Why am I the voice of reason? I don't like this. I don't like being in this position. You're not wrong, I but I already had a conversation with him. <laughs> no, I. If we're like, we're gonna roll up on this skinny. Like, it'll be fine. Oh, what are we gonna do? Oh, we're gonna walk outside and then go. <laughs> they can't even. They can't even walk into the sun. Listen, I, I was I was literally there were four of them and it was only me and they looked kind of you know. Yeah, I'm scared. pretty sure just an additional one of us showing up is enough. I think I think I think just Sin and Joe they might be even more scared. So I think I think we I think we're covered. But you know I don't the other Garu also want to start something and I'm a okay with starting something, but my children are involved. So I don't want to just throw y'all into the fire. But I do want you to be prepared. You understand what going into Chicago means. Making yeah. this decision means. All right. Yeah. I so do. when when claws start coming out, let me know if you're ready. I'll be ready. I mean, if I'm like closed up i'll be ready you'll be ready <laughs> okay y'all all right i i need to de-stress i'm going to see my wife <laughs> this is jazz on the forehead and please you uh fen makes his way out uh joe you go down and check on the pups um they all look good um they are playing and uh they kind of have their little their little pen um you go and check on them and roll me actually just a wits and awareness who's rolling this uh joe, joe. One success. <laughs> one thing you notice on one of them, it might be Philippe. Felipe? Felipe. No, Felipe. <laughs> <laughs> um, Felipe. <laughs> looking at him, he kind of just comes to your, your ankles. You pick him up, you give him like some pets. You look in his eyes and you see a, a glint of moonlight. You're not really sure what that means more than that, because you only rolled one success, but you just happen to notice that, and then you put him down. Oh. Look at you. A little sparkle in your eye. It's really nice. <laughs> I used to have a sparkle like that. It was a long time ago. I hope you keep that. And he begins gnawing on your arm. There you go. <laughs> there, is, there it is. There it is. <laughs> um, what would you all like to do with the pups? Are you going to leave them here? Are you going to take them back to Joe's? We'll take That's them back to my house. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll take them okay. back to my house. <laughs> all right. Um, anything else that any of the rest of you would like to do for the evening before you all head out for the evening? Jazz would just want to check in on Emery. Just be like, you know, that was a lot. How are you? How are you? I don't know. I mean, I've navigated tougher conversations. I... 
I want you to empathize with this statement really quick. I heard a phrase once from someone from the bomb squad. And they said, how are you fine with this? You know, it's a really high stress environment. And dude said, well, either I fix it or it's not my problem anymore. So like, not to trivialize what we're doing, but I'm out of options here, babe. And I don't know, like, I just don't want, you know, I don't want to roll up and have those two just like, oh, fix this guy. Well, and I don't think dad will do that, but I no. hear what you're saying. Yeah. I just, you know, it's not as though I want to build a meaningful relationship with the scum of the earth, but like, if scum fights scum, then we just go on a hike and let it go. Like, if if this is some sort of planted seed in order to let those pale fuckers fight themselves, then like, sure, I'm willing to lay down probably take a nice ass sedative, have somebody crawl around through my chest cavity, and if they pull out whatever hurts, I'm good. I'll heal up. Yeah, it's not ideal, but I don't really have many options right now, but I'm I'm 100% in your corner of like, not wanting to come in there punching fists right away, but if they do anything, Questionable. I, mean, I, I, I simply wouldn't consent to being sedated and performed no, no. surgery on. No. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm crafty. It's hard to pin me down. <laughs> well, someone has. And so let's, let's not like... Not like that. <laughs> Babe, I'm fine. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Someone else has. Okay, let's let's go. And she's just like let's flustered, go. like Jesus. <laughs> gotcha. Like I, I would hope for like at the tail end of that. Um, I go, uh, Emery, come um, come come help me put these these rascals in the truck. Yeah, whatever you say, killer. Yeah, and um, when we get out to the truck and they're in there and whatever just want to look at him and be like and you can see the struggle on his face he's like I am sorry for my aggression in there towards you about what um about um uh, about um uh, how you decide to navigate your um journey i'm trying here i can see that right. i accept your apology i'm i'm here to to get a one up but you know spies bleed a lot less than soldiers do man yeah he, um me and and finn we were around at a harsher time i would say and you pups now you guys don't have to necessarily deal with that and it's it's really hard to switch it off i just want to and again still like really exaggerating the trying i just want to convey to you that um me statements me statements yeah <laughs> um it's not always going to be easily done with the conversation and i'm concerned not for if you can handle yourself but what could happen if you don't now you got no kids, I got you there huge smile I ain't got no kids, man. And nobody stuck around me long enough for me to have the opportunity. And um, your shaggy head crashing on my couch is the closest that I get to it. 
keep yourself alive. Yeah, play your cards right, and I might just. Okay. Well, that's enough feelings for me. I'm going home. <laughs> you did great, Tiger. Let's. Okay. Let's get these things out of here. <laughs> you all make your way back home to your various homes for the evening and settle for the night to rest. But these events. They still weigh on you in different ways upon your rest tonight. You're visited by a dream. Fen, you have a dream that sometimes comes to you every once in a while. But maybe this time it's different. You dream of the war. The person you saved. The angel. Gaia herself, maybe. That memory lives inside your mind and replays over and over again. But this time you see her again, standing there. And behind her, you see your daughter reaching out, crying for help. You run toward her, you run but then, something blocks your path. You look down and you see a dark miasma coming from the ground around your le legs, wrapping you in. You begin to rage and shift. Your fangs and fur and ears change as you run toward, but the miasma is keeping you grounded. You go to reach, and you can't grab her. And then you feel like you're being swallowed whole by this miasma. And then... You wake up. <laughs> that feeling that you felt when the moon called to you. Sadness. It lingers in you once again. A feeling of despair, a cold serpent coiling around your heart. The, the earth and the people you swore to protect, consumed by this ever encroaching darkness. But that serpent whispers, what's the point? Joe. You also have similar dreams. A dream that also comes to you of a war that you once fought in. And you see Fen beside you. The two of you, friends for years, served together You reach out to grab his hand. And then he vanishes. You move forward, trying to look to see where he might have gone. You see the people around you running, running towards something weapons in their hands, armed, ready to go, ready to strike. As you do, you're running with these other armed people. You see next to you, wolves, four of them running with you. And you look down, you see it's, it's your pups, but they're grown. Shania, Filbert, 
Felipe and Cecilia. <laughs> they run with you toward whatever threat is in front of you. And then you look down at Felipe and you see that moon again. Above them, you see a spirit, a wolf with eyes and then a second set of eyes. It looks at you. You feel its pull. A, you feel a pull that you felt before, the same pull you felt from the moon when she told you to get up. And you run toward this battle, you run toward a fight, you run toward this miasma. That's when you see it. It is a dark miasma. And you see Fen in there. As you go to try to rescue him, you wake up. The feeling that you felt, fear. A similar feeling lingers in you, that despair. The cities that you've seen, the places you've traveled, not just Chicago, but even across the ocean, you've seen cities lie in ruins, nature choked by toxic fumes. You feel the same. Perhaps, perhaps there is no hope, or maybe there is. Maybe there is a future. Those wolves might be the future. Jazz. Tonight, you dream and you see another familiar face, Emery. The two of you walking through the woods, one of the many hikes that you go on through the Shaganeski woods. You follow the trail, you know it by heart. But then you look, and something about Emery seems off. You feel a pit in your stomach, a dread. And you look, and he grabs his heart and falls to the ground. You go, and you check his pulse, and his heart has stopped. You try to pull him up but nothing happens. And you see from the ground that miasma once again coming from the ground and surrounding him, a dark black miasma. It envelops him and you, similar, try to yell and cry and rage. You feel that primal fury, that primal beast and you begin to shift. Your ears change shape. Your fangs get longer. And then he vanishes into the ground. You wake up. And that feeling that you felt, dread, it sinks in your stomach and you're not able to shake the feeling of dread. Similar to Joe and similar to Fen, you feel despair. It takes, it takes over for a moment. You feel that ever encroaching darkness may soon hit closer to home than you thought.
Emery. Tonight, you also dream. You see your loved one, Jazz. You see her looking at you and behind her, the lake, Lake Michigan. And behind her, gleaming in the light, is the moon. It looks down at you. And you feel for a moment, you feel okay. But a restlessness stirs within you. Something's not right here. Then the moon drops from the sky, and with it, jazz vanishes. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. You turn around and look around, and you see cages. You see other Garu trapped in these cages, trying to make their way out. You run over and try to help them. You try to rip them open. You feel that restlessness, but it's futile. You can't break the cages open. And then you wake up. And that restlessness that you felt in this dream sits with you. But rather than Joe, Fen, and Jazz, you don't feel despair, you feel rage once again. The instinct that you have, that natural instinct, fighting for survival, it ignites in your soul. But it's a double-edged sword. It fuels your strength, but can also consume you. You've seen it consume you before. You all have these dreams that sit with you, and something else doesn't feel right. For the past, this past night, something made you feel different. Jazz, normally when you wake up and you use, expend some of your power, some of your gifts, I should say, you're able to recover, but you're not able to recover this night. Same thing for Fen, or sorry, actually not for Fen, but Emery, and Joe, you also try to recover from the next day. And it doesn't quite recover. Emery, that aggravated damage you took, you try to recover, but you can't. And for the mechanical, uh, for some reason, unbeknownst, you can't recover any willpower, aggravated, or superficial damage. Something feels off <clears throat> that fucking animal control lady but you all wake up and this this fight that you have this internal struggle it's a it's a war that you wage every every night you walk a tightrope whether you fight this despair or whether you fight this rage, but you hope to never be consumed by either fully. Something you learned from your first change and learning from your fellow Garu and from all of the Ragabash, uh, is it the Ragabash? No, the Galliards, the Galliard 
who tell you their uh, verbal stories of Garu. It's a fight between Harano and Hoglosk. A fight between Harano, despair, and Hoglosk, rage. You never want to fully succumb to either. But the things you've experienced in this past night or so, you have to all fight to see if you uh, get Harano or Hoglosk, um, because there is a mechanical thing for this. You have to make a test. So based on the things, the emotions you first told me in the last episode, I determined what that resonated more with, Harano or Hoglosk. Fen said sadness. To me, that resonates more with Harano, despair. Joe said fear, similar. He resonates more with Harano. Jazz said dread, that I also say is Harano. Emery, you said restlessness, however, and that, to me, resonates more with rage. Hoglosk. So, the three of you are going to make Hirano tests, and you're going to make a Hoglosk test. It's the same thing, but it's just there's two trackers for it. Totally. So, got it, got it, got it. because this is your first one, and we actually, you don't have any Hirano or Hoglosk, you're actually just going to make one D10 test. So you can roll Rage if you want, roll a Rage dice. You roll one D10, and if you, uh, if you fail... You fill a box. If you s pass, you're safe. Okay, well, a lot of you are passing. That's good. Okay, oh. whoever rolled that last one. That was... That was Fen? Oh. Okay. All right, so the three... Child other, anxiety. Three other girls, you all passed, so you do not have to check a box in Hirano and Hoglosk, which I don't even know where that is on these characters. That is in the the wolf, the wolf tab okay. yeah. on the top okay. left-hand side. Um, however, Fen, you have to add one dot in um, Hirano. Now, there are five boxes for either, and you never want to fill all five boxes, because if you do, you com completely succumb to despair or rage, and... You become an NPC, essentially. There is also a devil's bargain you can make. If you ever feel that you want to increase your rage, if you're out of rage and you can't use any of your abilities because you need to make a rage test, you can voluntarily fill up one of these boxes to increase your rage. So it's like a devil's bargain. Um, it actually increases your rage to five. So you get full, full blown rage to use anything. But you have to spend, you have to put a dot in Harano or Hoglosk. Um, and I would say from this point, f I would say it would follow along with the Im initial emotions you felt. So if you, so for Fen, Joe, and Jazz, you would have to put a dot in Hirano. For Emery, you would put a dot in Hoglosk if you want to do that Devil's Bargain and instantly get Rage. So, that is a little bit of what you've experienced this night and some of the things that you've been tugging with and all Garu struggle with these same feelings and emotions. That's just part of being Garu. But, nonetheless, you all wake the next day, and you know that you have some business to attend to. You know you have to go to the city. You may want to meet with this uh, Dr. Worm that, uh, that Fen knows. Dr. Worm. You do know, of course, they are worm spawn, and they don't come out during the day. So you have to make your way to Chicago at night. So... You spend the day doing your normal th jobs, your normal tasks, but you do meet toward dusk in the forest where Fen knows that there's a token left from our dear friend, Dr. Worm. So you all reconvene in the forest.
probably all feeling a little heavy from the night that you had. And it may show on your faces. You all know each other very well as your family. So you feel off, the vibes feel off. They probably feel off for the rest of the crew. Yo, does anyone else feel like hungover? You got hungover from one drink? Dude, I have no clue. I just like, like normally I sleep on that couch. I'm out like a light, but that's weird fucking dream, man. Interesting. Jazz, how about you? Doing all right? I'm fine. Just didn't have a good night. That's all. Okay. Oh, uh, it was, it was Joe, you? Mm, mm, you um, yeah, I'm here. What? Okay. Uh, it, it was somewhere over here. You can probably smell it now. You, uh, do you... <laughs> the stench does linger. And you Messing make your damn pores. <laughs> you make your way to a small, um, a small little like tree uh, that's protect. It's like in a protected area, so you know that nobody would uh, disturb it. Um, but you see it. You see that little pebble. It to the normal human eye, it's just a rock. And again, it's in a protected area, so nobody's gonna touch it. But you all know immediately this is the smell of the worm is all over this and you look over it's a small pebble with a bit of blood in it and you are able to use that to essentially scent where this individual is it's not a sending stone unfortunately um you can't use it to, to call him up but you are able to what use it <laughs> You are able to use it to track him, that and girl? You at? I won't say more than that because you guys wouldn't know. Um, but uh, <laughs> you're able to use it to track uh, the individual who made it. Um, as you know, Fen, his name is Silas Lysander Jr. And heading into the city, it leads you right to a hospital, Mercy General in Chicago. Oh, I was just like two blocks away from here this morning. Why did I have to go all the way out to the forest? Fuck. And oh. with that, we will take a break. And when we return, we will head into Mercy General Hospital and see what awaits inside. Be right back, everybody. We'll be back in about 10 minutes or so. So get yourself a refill, drink, do your uh, your Garu things that you need to howl at the moon. And uh, we'll uh, we'll oh. be right back. Oh. BRB. Ooh. Oh. Should have done that. <laughs>
We return. Uh, welcome back, everybody, to uh, Heart of the Pack, our Werewolf the Apocalypse Chronicle. Um, quick, of course, shout outs, of course, to A, back to the intro. I know we we uh, shouted this out last week, but uh, that intro was done by uh, Stormbeard and Helveticat, and they slayed. So uh, thank you so much for that amazing intro. Um, and so, and also, shout out to our artist, Crisby, um, who does all the amazing art. Uh, if you're watching via YouTube, uh, his link will be in the description below if you want to check out uh, him and his work. Uh, thank you, Crisby, for the amazing art. So, let us dive back into uh, the game. You all stand outside of this hospital, Mercy General. And you various levels of familiarity with this hospital. It's pretty big. Um, you know, Emery, you've been around this area quite a few times. Uh, you as well, Fen, you know of this place. But you walk in and it's still early in the evening and the, the air in this hospital, uh, you head toward the ER unit. Uh, it's busy, um, even at this time of night. So you walk and the fluorescent lights glare overhead and you see a bunch of people in the waiting room. You see many anxious faces, patients who are awaiting the people they, or visitors awaiting the people they dropped off, the patients they dropped off. You see one mother holding her very anxious child you see a man holding his chest tight and he unleashes a fury of coughs in the room and you realize it's been a while you've been around this many people. Where you are, it's not as dense, but that denseness of the city, of the this, this stench of Chicago air, it just, it lingers here. And you especially smell the scent of the worm down a hallway, but you know you probably can't just walk down there without somebody uh, saying something, but of course there's a receptionist and you see two individuals working at the front desk. One of them attending to a patient and another one sitting there by themselves. Who do we know is the best people person? I feel like we know, but I, I just want to make sure. I got this. Oh, 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 oh big dog. I think, I, I think we let uh, Emery do do his thing. It's right down there. Yes, it's I down there. Okay, so people, Joe, I know you don't like them, but people, you know, sometimes they need to feel safe where they are. And you storming down the hospital where people are already hurt, you're not helping that. All right, I did a lot of stomping around here earlier. I did it at this guy's business or whatever, they didn't like it. All right. We'll just let Emery, Emery has, has the yeah, silver tongue. Yeah, we'll let him do his yeah. thing. And... It just stinks in here. Hopefully yeah, that's over. I think hey, that's yeah, it. sorry, man. I farted. You see um, a young a young woman, probably like just graduated college. Um, she is at the front desk. All right. Do I, I guess like, I've got three mechanical things and then I've just got my literal silver tongue. Um, you know, can I? <laughs> oh, I'll let no. you do anything. I'll let you do anything. Heart stopped. Um, <laughs> I... I guess, you know, we'll, we'll do a, like a little huddle up and just like a, hey, look, like I'm just going to talk to her. I'm just going to, you know, uh, ask if I uh, go back there, grab some stuff, maybe like bullshit our way into saying that we got a patient down there. And I guess like what I'd like to know, Storyteller, is with my trait of just like either nonstop bullshit or my two pips in contact or my two pips in allies. 
what like can I Voltron together in order to either mention something that this young woman knows or maybe like see someone at the hospital that I personally recognize or anything that's not just like, hey, how you doing? Like, let me pass. Mm -hmm. um, you do know uh, because you like collect food and things from various locations. You would probably know at this hospital some of the places where they um, like receive like donations and stuff. Um, so you know, you know the person that like handles the donations, and you might be able to kind of like say like, "Hey, I'm here to like pick up some shipments. I work with this person." You could do that. Alternatively, I mean, you guys know. The, I mean, at least Fen knows. I don't know if he's given the name. You know the doctor's name. You could just say you're a patient here, you know, or a follow-up, <laughs> yeah, or check, a, you know, follow-up with the person, but. Right. You know. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm probably going to go for the first one, because, like, family of four for an, an, a, a checkup is a little eyebrow-raising. <laughs> but we're very concerned for you. <laughs> well, thanks, thanks, Dad. Yeah, me too. Don't call um, me. I guess, like, you know, I, to, to start this uh, little shenanigan, uh, you know, I walk up, I assume mm -hmm. uh, this young woman has a name tag? Uh, yes, her name is Clara. Okay. Hey, Clara. I'm sorry, it's Demery Haddock. I'm here at a really weird time. Uh, it's been a really long day. I'm here with GCFT. Sorry, uh, the Greater Chicago Food Dispensary. Um, we were supposed to get a story from Silas Jr. about how we're working together with the hospital on adding, and like, I could do this for five minutes straight if you'd like mm -hmm. me to, uh, she but, had, um, yeah, when you yeah. first approach her, she looks like a little confused and it like takes her a minute. Um, but as you're telling the story, roll me, go ahead and roll me your charisma persuasion with your specialty and non-stop bullshit. Um, How? Uh, so you, you add an extra die, basically, to the roll. Okay. <laughs> That's the um, best thing ever. <laughs> your non-stop um, bullshit. Uh, so would that, would that be charisma or would that be manipulation? Manipulation. Persuasion. Thank you for choosing the right oh that's a brutal <laughs> outcome right there you rolled two I've, you rolled two fangs i've rolled well i rolled one success with my what uh Your... eight die uh and i yes. rolled not two but three fangs well you only need you only need a pair of two to get yourself oh, no. a brutal. I'm sure, but, but I'm extra. I will. I was about to say, if you want, you can spend a willpower to re-roll up to three dice. So fuck said that. <laughs> I I will I will spend a willpower. It's the intercom. The intercom's going on. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it was a weird voice that came out of nowhere. Definitely not anything for voting. Um. So spending a willpower allows me to roll up to three. Is that what you suggested? Yes, correct. So okay. you could re-roll uh, those two angry fangs. Um, could I re-roll all three of them? Yes, actually, you can. Perfect. Hmm. I'd love to do that. Um, I don't know if there's a button for willpower re-roll like there is on... Uh... He also... Is my, my brew still active? I don't know if that helps, but... <laughs> um, <laughs> Am I fucking Theoretically, still? it would be still active, but whatever For weird glory. thing you guys are feeling, oh. um, it it seems like it it has worn off. Um, so, uh, Emery, I would just say if you just want to roll three d ten, and uh, those are your rerolls. Okay. I'm here. Let me figure out the best way to do that. I'm going to go charisma. Oh, no. Okay, I'm... Um, you could also... I got I it, think... I got it, I got okay, it. Okay, cool. I got it, I got cool. It. I was going to say, let me just try some. 
There you okay. go. Okay. Um, so that bumps still... me to three successes. Yeah, thankfully it's not. I was just checking, so I'm sorry. Um, You're fine. Uh, yes, yeah, so three successes. Okay. Um, yeah, you no longer have a brutal outcome because you re-rolled those. Um, you still rolled one uh, fang, but you need two to get a brutal. Um, she looks at you and she listens to your story and... Um, let me... One second. And she's clacking away at the so computer. Much. Um, Silas is seeing a patient right now, or Dr. Lysander, I should say. <laughs> Dr. Lysander is seeing a patient right now. Um, That's totally I, appropriate. We were supposed to be here earlier. Again, super sorry about that. Just give me, I, I, it probably should be another 15 minutes or so. So if you all want to just have a seat and uh That's and wait. totally fine. Again, a memory. Let's go ahead and just shout out my name. Yep, I will. I got my uh, crew with me. We're totally fine. Um, and you, uh, yes, you all uh, have to wait 15 minutes in the waiting room. <laughs> I, I hit the Witcher <laughs> wait button and just fucking. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, eventually, uh, the time passes, and uh, you see a nurse come out and call Emery. That's us. That's us. Present. And uh, they lead you down the hall. Um, you So you said you were here to see uh, Dr. Lysander, right? About something? Yeah, we're doing a segment on how the food bank is partnering with the hospital in order right, to provide nutrition right. for the Right, that whole thing, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, he said it wasn't on his schedule, but, you know, we can... You, you, I'm sure it's something you guys can figure out, and, you know, maybe if he needs to reschedule, because I think he's supposed to see another patient um, in the next, like, 15 minutes or so. So, um, but I, I'll let you guys um, figure it out. That's he's, fine. Thank you. We've come so far again sorry we are late well i'm you know i'm as i'm sure you know him he'll fix his own schedule um yes I, and i think he's just wrapping up with this other patient so just um just give me a moment um of course. and uh they uh go to the door and or they they bring lead you down a hallway to the right and you see there is um there is a medical room um, that they knock on. Dr. Lysander? Yes, what is it? I'm almost done. Um, there is a group that is here to, uh, an Emory Haddock, um, they were here from the food bank to here to ask some questions. Um, I, I can have them just wait a minute here. Um, just give me one sec. Uh, he's he's kind of Fen, busy. Fen leans his head in just so you can look at him. All right, Billy, and what do we say? You don't want to jump off the bunk bed to suplex your brother, right? <laughs> yeah, um, I think my mom's going to probably get rid of the bunk bed, unfortunately. All right, well, chicks dig casts, so your arm should be good as, good as new in a couple of weeks, and make sure you have all your friends sign it, okay? Actually, Dr. Lysander, could you could you sign it? Of course. Let me just get my pen here. Oh, hold on. I have to actually find a Sharpie for these new casts. Pens don't really work. And there you go. My John Dr. Hancock. Lysander. My first signature on that new cast. Uh, oh, uh, when's the, when do I have to come back, by the way? Is it like... Six weeks. Two, Oh, okay, that's easy. Okay. Yep. Make easy. sure you know, when you shower, make sure you put a plastic bag over it. You don't want to get it wet, because yeah. then when you get it wet, then the plaster fails, and then you're going to have to come back and get it re, uh, recasted, okay? Uh, yeah, I've... Uh, make sure you... Uh, yeah, my mom will know. It will um, be in the folder yeah. going home with you, yes. Yep, yep. Thanks, Dr. Lysander. Alrighty. Take care. And you see a child run out of the room. <laughs> A child. Uh, Sorry. A child. <laughs> the immersion. The immersion. You ruined my immersion. <laughs> Tracy, you can't, you can't just stand simply stay under a the child. rim like that. We did Not it again. That. We did it again. <laughs> you can't stand under the rim. 
<laughs> and it almost feels like dis a, a sense of disgust as you know what he is. He's attending to a child. It feels almost wrong. That, that feeling, the taint of the worm, it just stirs in you as you see that. But nonetheless, Silas, you see a familiar face alongside three unfamiliar faces. Well, uh, you seen everyone. I know you. Oh, right, two familiar yes. faces. I see you got my message. Yes, um, it was as unsettling as I thought it was, but thank you. Let us speak somewhere more, more private. I have an office down the hall. Um, sorry, what was the nurse's name again? Uh, Clara. Clara was the receptionist, the Got nurse. It. <laughs> no, uh, just, Silas will go over Never. to one of the phones that are on the wall and he'll dial the front desk. Uh, Clara, this is uh, Dr. Leia Sander. Um, I totally forgot about this interview. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Um, Pass that next patient on to Dr. Wilkinson. Um, he, his schedule is looking a little light, little light anyway. Will do, Dr. Lysander. Alrighty, thank you, and I'll, I'll be back momentarily. Follow me. And Silas will lead you down a couple of hallways to an office. You see office of Dr. Lysander on the door, and he'll motion you in. I see you brought the whole crew, Fen. Yeah, well, got to take care of the family. And he'll look Emery up and down, and they grow back. Oh, yeah. Power of the sun. Yeah. Funny. I'll have to note that in his medical history. Then <sighs> it wasn't easy. And Silas will go behind his desk and pull out a backpack. The antidotes, as promised. It should protect you if you do get injected again. Think of it as, you're a naturist. Think of it as a sort of anti-venom to the serum. something wrong with his heart not that he needs a shot and Jazz is like in the back arms crossed just like not glaring but she's just like suspect oh. one at a time I'm only doing this to prevent a war capiche don't capiche me. I was talking to Fen. Silas. As if I don't know anything about medicine or anything, like my associate said, there's something wrong with his heart. So you're saying he takes this sedative, whatever it is, and it's going to cleanse him of whatever's going on? No. No, this will keep you from bursting out into a rage. Oh, you, yes, you... When we were in the sewers, yes, he said his heart hurt, and I offered to look at it, but that was weeks ago. You're telling me you're still having heart pain. Yeah. Interesting. And have you had any reoccurring episodes of unbridled rage? I mean, I get angry at my video games. No, that's a joke. That's a joke. That's a joke, everyone. That's I'm trying to lighten the mood, dear lord. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, you know, it it hurt when we were doing some shit on the woods, and like, you know, you ever well, I don't know. Do you feel pain? Is that a thing? Yeah, man. I don't know. I'm trying to I'm trying to describe it. Oh no, okay. It's you not know, so much modest. Tell him how much it 
pains you. Okay, yeah, sure. You know, let's say, you know, back back when you used to eat vegetables, right, and you, like, strained your wrist, it might have hurt for something like three days or something. This is not going away. It doesn't feel good. Obviously, I'm here. I'm alive. But, like, I feel as though this thing is working in overdrive to just get blood through me. And so, I don't know. How do I describe heart pain besides the words it hurts? Well, let's see. Are you having any numbness in your left arm? The one that grew back? No. Okay, have you eaten anything ridiculously spicy or acidic in the last 24 hours? It's not no. heartburn. Work a food bank, you chud. I know what heartburn is. Fuck. Chud. I don't know. All right. Fen, you, can Fen, you, like, what, what empathize you... with the fact that I'm a little sour? What, what, do, you, what do you want me to do here, Fen? I, I, I just... I spent weeks perfecting this serum for you to prevent this war to help you somebody who has offered to kill me many times in the past and then you come in and you want me to do help you more why why are you even in the city i said that i would we we'd meet you that was I, i dropped a stone last night two nights ago do you do you do you have a death wish do you know what's in the city for you. You're you're the most you're on every hypothet you know hyperbole hyperbole, but every kindred wanted poster in the city. This guy points to Emery. Killed a kindred. You and also him tore up a medical facility. Have you opened a paper recently? I'm just saying. Can you at least, I don't know, do what doctors do. Put a stethoscope, that's a, the thing. Stethoscope. Listen, stethoscope. Whatever. Just at least check him out. We're telling you that something's wrong. Okay. Well, then we do it by the book. Nothing raises more eyebrows than just putting someone random into a CT scan and looking at their heart. That's fair. Okay. Do it by the book. <sighs> Fill out these papers. God fucking damn it, more papers. Yes, it's an so intake. Take them. <laughs> no, no. no. Just, he grabs the papers out of Jess's heads. We're not filling out any fucking papers. You did this to him. You're going to fix him now. <laughs> I did this to him. You did this to him. I didn't touch little old Emery. You're, it is thanks to me that he is even breathing right now. You're, luckily, you're lucky he wasn't ripped to shreds in the sewer that we found him in. You're lucky I don't repeat his shreds in this oh. office. Okay. Joe? Storyteller, we talked about this. <laughs> Storyteller, no, yes. No, just. Oh lordy. Okay. No. That's for everyone in the room. Oh. Okay. Let's go, fam. <laughs> All right. Um. What is going on? Right. <laughs> Fen, uh, Fen is about to use um, a gift from his lovely patron, the stag. Um, and I'm just going to look it up. Um, it's okay, you guys will be fine. Um, <clears throat> let's see, really quick, everybody. Um, oops, this is the wrong page. Uh, I have to relook up what Stare Down does. Uh, Galliard, uh, do 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 Galliard, Black Fury, Bonar, Gale Stalker, Heart Warden. Is it Heart Warden or? Oh shit, no, it's a. Uh, is it a Philodox? 
Uh, I don't know. You gave it to me at the first. I did. Time. I did give it to you. I think it might be. <laughs> it might be a Philodox. Oh poof. I see it as a uh, social skills intimidation specialty. Yeah, it says charisma, honor versus composure resolve. Thank you. Okay, so everybody except Fen, including you, Silas, roll a composure and resolve. And um, Fen, you roll your charisma honor. Birds are hard. Composure and resolve, you said? Yes, so I think they, those are two uh, attributes. <clears throat> uh, I got two critical goods and one thing. <laughs> uh, so that, if you got two crits, four successes. that's four it's successes, less. yeah. Hmm. yeah. Two successes. Okay, I don't know how to add honor, so I'm just gonna add a plus one modifier to it. Yeah. Uh, oh, and, was I supposed to add? Uh, no, no. Oh, okay. Uh, Wait, you have to get two stars, two two star things to get something? To get a crit, yes. Oh, so if you get it. one okay. star, that means nothing, but if you get two of them, then you get a crit, and that's actually four successes. Four successes. Four successes, all right. Um, uh, Silas, what did you roll? Seven successes. Ooh, With Lordy. a messy crit? critical. Oh my god! Alright, I gotta pull out the vampire masquerade book. You can leave now! Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Oh, a, a Chicago doctor is being threatened in his own right. office. A messy critical. Oh lordy. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I gotta think about this one. Um, this is, this is gonna get real spicy real quick, everybody. Um, messy crits. They are, uh, you know, it'll just, it'll just stir something in Silas. Um, one moment. Oh, good. <laughs> Please. I would love Will a confrontation. This is Emotion. not what we discussed. This is exactly what we discussed. This is not what we discussed. <laughs> I don't know what conversation no, you're ben, talking about. Ben is furious right now. All right. That makes two of us. Okay. <laughs> Oh, hold on, so, real quick. Um, sorry, I, it's been a bit since VTM. So it's yes. I got it's two successes with like the little this the Ankh or the the vampire the, little, the masquerade fang. with the two fangs next to it. Yes. And then I oh and then that so that's a crit and then I got oh two successes on hunger dice. So only one failure, but it wasn't crit on the hunger dice. Um, it, it it didn't say like messy or anything messy like that. Messy or anything like that. It's just um, it's 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 two. I, I rolled two two sixes. Get, yes, um, a messy critical just requires one crit on your hunger dice. Okay, then it didn't crit. Sorry. It's just okay. a crit on the regular bite dice. Okay. Yep. So you didn't? Did you have an onk with the stars? Yes, I've, and then I've, an onk. So no, so that's the onk with the uh, the stars. The that's okay. two, and then just the regular onk that are red. So those are my hunger dice. Yeah, I think that I think that's still a messy crit. My, I, I think I, I think that's still a messy crit. So um, a critical in which one or more tens appear on the hunger die. You no, then, yourself... no tens. Six, oh. Successes, but not tens. I rolled two tens on the regular yeah, dice. That's, oh, but you didn't roll two tens on the ten. yes. You, you just need one ten on a hunger die to no, roll a secret. Nope, no, no, no tens no. on hunger Ooh. dice. All right, them. all right. You've all been saved. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have. <laughs> oh, I get to go home. Uh, however, <laughs> no. <laughs> you still did roll seven successes. Successes, so. You're not affected by what Fen's about to say. Um, it does stir something in you. The beast does growl a little bit upon what Fen's about to say. But the rest of you, your pack, you're addressed by Fen. And Fen, the next words he's about to say, kind of calm your own emotions for a moment as you're feeling a bit heated, all of you. 
but Fen, in his stare down, brings it back. Fen, what what do you say in this in this moment? Doctor, I understand that you're dealing with a lot of stress right now, working in a facility such as this, being who you are. My friend here is a patient who's trying to understand what's happening to his body that other individuals thought it was their right to oppose upon it. Now, I understand that the last time we were within this city, we showed out a bit. That's but an that understatement. Was because, Silas, that was because we were brought here. Because your friends wanted us here. Now, recently, one of your friends decided to step on my grounds. Now, yes, we had an agreement, but whoever that was decided they had the chance to talk to my family without my permission. So whatever terms we had previously have changed a little bit, and it's not because of me. So, out of the kindness of my heart. You can do whatever you want. But I'll remind you. Last time, it was for y'all against me. Now, with the coin flipped, you want to deal with those odds? I just wanted to do it by the book. If I throw him into a CT scan without any sort of paperwork, how fucking suspicious does that look? This shit, like, this isn't 87 anymore where papers go missing. Everything is logged and calculated. You want me to look at his heart? I'll look at his fucking heart. But I don't appreciate me saving your asses with this serum me breaking a bunch of rules hell i could i could be killed for this i don't know what's that shit you uh doctors do that oath the hippocratic oath yes well there you go anybody right i said i would help him Doctor-patient confidentiality, as long as my name is on his paperwork and someone comes sniffing, unless they have a fucking affidavit to get information, what I see on this guy's scan stays between us. Alright, then give me the fucking papers and figure the shit out. Thank you. Uh, hand him the papers, big guy. so fucking easy right now and you feel that joe but whatever fen's words it's kind of settled your soul for a moment here but it's it's in that cage wanting to be let out but you hand the papers over uh and i guess emery you take the papers to fill out with all of your medical information. And you write whatever you want. You could even lie if you want. You don't necessarily have to write all of the medical stuff. You just kind of fill it out to fill it out. And oh, sure I'm, enough, I'm using nonstop bullshit on this as well. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> you know what? Roll for it. Um, roll, me a, roll me a... Uh, oh God. Um, I'm gonna say just a manipulation and subterfuge. And you can add, I, I know nonstop bullshit is persuasion, but go ahead and add that. All right. Go ahead and add that extra die. So four, five, yeah, six dice. <laughs> uh. 
that's a brutal outcome. No, oh, 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 that's, that's a brutal outcome. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Is my brutal outcome of paperwork that he can't read it? <laughs> we were supposed um, to be so much cooler in this doctor's office. <laughs> this, <that's> what, <laughs> yeah, we, the, the, the doctor's office is our biggest fight uh, in this game. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to I'm, God. I'm sorry I keep rolling so many dice and so many of them turned into fangs. I mean, you could spend a willpower to re-roll it. I, you, yeah, I'm not spending well. willpower I, on paperwork. Pa I, I was going to say, yeah. Um, this brutal outcome, you, uh, you fill it out. Um, I broke then, your pen. Yeah, but then you you break his pen, um, and it just the little the little spring pling flies right past uh, Silas and hits uh, it hits the books on the wall behind you. I that was a Mont Blanc. I I truly. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> While we're here, do you know anything about that? Why any of you about pens? Come... No. <laughs> any of your worm spawn coming out out of Chicago comes to some <laughs> space they have no business at. Y'all hunting again? Y'all trying to get more? Of us? Who, who came by? <sighs> some girl, business Move. suit. These people uh, talk talking companies. What company was she with again? Uh, she said animal control. But she didn't have any business cards mm -hmm. on her. What was she it? said my babies had rabies. I ignore that part. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good bar. I have shots for that if you need one. Uh, no, we don't. <laughs> we don't. We're good. Trust me. <clears throat> don't. Well, a, a name. Do you have a name? We still have names. Celia Barnes. Celia Barnes. You can roll me a uh, resolve intelligence to see if you pull up any names. Three successes. There is not a. You cannot think of any Celia Barnes. Probably a fake name. Yeah. It's not ringing any bells. Right. Emery, as you get ready and whatnot, you know anything about this? Uh, do we know the park? We said uh, the dream. We saw something at the park. The park? You don't know the name of it. You know it's closer to, like, in vicinity, it's closer to O'Hare, to the airport. Um, if you hold up a map, you probably might be able to pinpoint where it is. Um, but yes, you... It's not the same park that... Uh, oh, was that previously? Yeah, that you were at previously. You got any uh, friends over by this area? And then show if there's a map or something. <sighs> I mean, you, you keep saying friends, like, as if I know every kindred People in Chicago. like... <sighs> People that around O'Hare, I, I have to deal with them. You'll be upset. Do I storyteller? Um, let me just. Uh, you would know that territory. That territory is gang girl territory. Okay. You know. You know of. Uh, Gangrel. Uh, you haven't met too many. You met an Anarch Gangrel once, mm -hmm. um, but uh, you know that that's Gangrel territory, so this probably it probably would be a Gangrel. No. It's not a part of town I frequently visit, no. Fantastic. One more thing, and I'll leave you alone. Like I've told you before, you have a, uh, you have a smell to you. Thank you? No, it's not a good smell. It's a smell of entitlement. <laughs> you think because you're a doctor or your family's real powerful, you can speak to people any way you want to? I'll tell you one thing. You ever 
talk to my family like that again. And I'll rip your jaw off. <sighs> and remember, I like you. I think that's the fourth time you've threatened to harm me, so I'll just add it to the list, Fen. Keep on count. An open tab. Now, Emery, did you write your real last name? Yes. Emery Haddock. I'm now your general practitioner. So anything that happens from this point on files under doctor-patient confidentiality, okay? Yeah, so I got this weird rash, and I'm, I'm just kidding. Sure, man. <sighs> okay. <laughs> You're all so tense. I love you, but also. Hey, Clara, it's Dr. Lysander again. I'm gonna have to take a little bit longer. Can you make a call down to radiology for me? Um, just as a courtesy, my friend here is having a little chest pain. I'm just going to, you know, schedule a, C a CT scan for him as soon as possible and just make sure he's okay. Yeah, I know the drill with chest pains. Can't yep. make light of both those. Um, uh, yeah, sure. I'll make sure that they uh, get that set up for you. And I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put his information into the computer so we can follow up. Yeah, sounds good. All uh, right. Thanks, Dr. Lysander. Thank you, Clara. Let's get you that CT scan. Make sure to take out any piercings, I think. Oh, okay. CT scans aren't magnetic. That's an, oh, it's the know. MRI. <laughs> yeah, thank know. goodness we're doing an MRI with a metallic device like, inside my know. chest. Jazz, I Joe, outside. Shows all the time. Okay. okay. Oh, oh good shit. Uh, do you guys go outside, outside, or just go to the waiting room? Where, where are you guys I waiting? Think, I think knowing mm -hmm. Joe doesn't like being in these spaces the most, he would go outside. Okay. You guys step outside to one of the courtyards at this hospital to get some fresh air while uh, Dr. Lysander takes Emery to uh, radiology to get his scan. Uh, the two of you head down. Um, Silas, you get them all set up. Okay, should only take 15, 20 minutes, of course. Try not to move or wiggle. We'll get a look at that ticker and get you on your way. Should I make it clear I'm not a cardiologist, so. I'm... Hey man, you got a better guess than I do. <laughs> All right. Now, Silas, roll me. Just to see how everything goes, uh, roll me an intelligence medicine. <laughs> roll for medical degree. <laughs> Did you get on this? Like, He's got like doing? 30 dice in this dice pool. So yeah, sorry. here, can I uh, roll? So give, me, give me an hour and some chains. Let me drive on over there and blow on the dice for you. Uh, mm -hmm. Six Google. successes. How to become a doctor six, in five minutes. <laughs> six successes. Okay. So everything goes well, the, the scan, um, and you get the results, um, and you start to review them. Um, hmm. But while that's happening, um, actually, uh, I will, uh, em or Emery, not Emery, Joe, Fen, and Jazz, you guys are outside getting some fresh air. Uh, anything you guys want to do or say? What part jo Joe's, of Joe's pacing. He's pacing. Uh -oh. <laughs> What part of letting Emery speak do you not understand, Joe? Don't, don't you die, damn it, Finn. Worms? And then you're just going to let him sit there and speak to us like this? Can I go back in? I don't want to leave him alone in there. Let me tell you something, jo Joe. Yeah, tell me. We, tell me something. Explain the fact that you want to try to rip this man limb from limb when he's the only option we have to making sure what the hell's going on with Emery. You think I like doing this? Fucking ego with a lab coat sitting there talking down to me? To me? So what do you want to do? Exactly what I said I wanted to fucking do. 
after he's done with Emery, I'm going to go in there. And I'm going to stick my foot so far up his fucking ass. He's going to be coughing up two toenails for the rest of his unnatural fucking life. Then you go ahead and tell the rest of the packs that we start another war in Chicago. Because that wouldn't be the first there, time that kid in there is going to send whether goons, other other vamps and everybody else after your little pups, after my daughter, after everyone else in that wood. I wish they fucking would, Fen. <laughs> and guess what? Maybe you'll survive. Maybe you'll kill a dozen vamps. But who are we going to lose in all that? You're going to be all alone again. Control it. It's a tool, not a crutch. And I know you care a lot about that boy. And I understand that. And I know you want to put your five cents in as well, but we had a plan. And if anything, we all looked weak in there. I was being nice. I was being nice. <laughs> That's some sibling shit. I was going to sign the papers. I mean, I don't like it. I can't with this. What the fuck are we doing? We're getting Emery better. And we're then we we're going to deal with whoever keeps trying to hunt us down. But this we... one isn't the one we're looking for. Did you not well, notice me ask? <gasps> did you not notice me asking him questions about the other vampires? What he knows about it? <clears throat> I told you they don't like each other. We use them against each other. Well, then Finn, you call me when you're ready for me. This political bullshit is not what I'm for. So then go on. Get. You know what, Finn? Fuck you, Finn. I'm gonna walk off. Joe, take a point of rage. Add that to your tracker. This conversation has stirred that in you. That beast, that rage. You I walk think when, off. When, when Joe walks off, he ducks into an alley and he transforms into his lupine form and just takes back off. Okay. You shift into that form. Um, I don't think you have to roll. Uh, let me see. Uh, <clears throat> I don't think you have to roll anything for that. Uh, let's see. Nope, you do not. Um. So you shift into your lupus form and head off. You go down an alley where nobody's nearby and you head off, not even caring if people see. Fen and Jazz, you're left. I was trying to be nice. I know, I'm sorry. But that wasn't the situation before. I know. I just... Imagine... They were belittling it, and... Imagine you're stuck in a room, and everybody has a weapon pointed at you, and they're much stronger than you. I get it. I get it. Now, I don't like them either. I've been in a much more interesting situation with them twice but this isn't about him this is about Emery and we can't let our own egos get in the way of making sure that boy's alright you're right you're right I will be even nicer you say that but you know, and it just trails off <laughs> I will be nicer Silas, you are reviewing the test results. Mm hmm And you see something you've never seen before. This device on Emery's heart. It is kind of like a pacemaker, but it's not 
doesn't have the same function that a pacemaker does in some ways. And observing it more, you see similar tools of device and devices that were used on the things placed on the other Garu's arms, except they tried to put it in the heart. Hmm. You try to understand what it is. And with six successes, I would say you're able to infer that this is some other type of device they were trying to experiment. Perhaps it was a first one, a prototype of sorts. Maybe it didn't work. You know many types of <laughs> experiments. You have to try multiple things to get things to work. And this may be one of their earlier attempts at whatever they were trying to do. One thing that does also come of interest to you is how this was able to be implanted on the heart in the way that it was. This looks like something familiar, somewhat familiar to you. It's not, it's not a discipline that your clan, Tremere, does, but you've studied. This is something different, something of vistitude. You know some clans, some that are more frowned upon in the Camarilla, but not shunned. There are some clans that get themselves involved with these kinds of molding of flesh. And that does concern you. That's what you're able to gather, at least, from this. All right, Emery, we're all done. Um, you can go ahead and climb out now. Thanks. I itch my nose. Um, you want to go talk in my office? Yeah, man. All right. Sounds good. So... And he'll take the CT scan and he'll put it up on the wall. You see, this is this is, this is your heart in your torso. There's something attached to it, obviously. It's well, fuck. Now this is mechanical. It is some sort of pacemaker, like we thought. But the way it's attached, obviously, I can see your arm. You have some sort of healing powers. How they got this in your chest is beyond me. I would have thought that your body would have pushed it out by now, but it hasn't. It, it's going to be a little weird still, so stick with me. I'm, I'm here, man. Yeah. There's a certain type of... What's the term you guys keep using? Worm? We, we call ourselves kindred. You call us worms. A certain type of kindred can use a certain power that can form, play, mold flesh. Somehow... This is on there. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I can't take it off. I mean... That's understandable. L I Frustrating, can... but understandable. No, sorry, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, no. This, this part of the job never gets easier. Even worms like me. Look, it, it hurts. Whatever you did to cause it to start hurting again, it, it's a prototype. 
and it it failed, but it stuck on there. I see a couple outcomes. You leave it in. You live your life. You don't do what you did again to cause it to start hurting. And see how far that takes you. Maybe your natural healing will counteract it, but there's that. I mean... Well, I got more. Okay, yeah, yeah. Second is you find the person that did this. Look, I mean, I've studied their means. It's a clan called Zamichi. I've only met one before, and would I make the the kind of because I've I've seen this person before, and yes. I know whose retinue they are in. Yes, and actually, Silas, you have met that person, and. Mm-hmm. Because of who they were associated with, you did a little more research on the individual. Uh, and I actually want you to roll me for this, uh, something you've done over this time. Um, roll me just a uh, investiga- intelligence and investigation. Yeah, I think that's, yeah. Three successes. Three successes? You do know that that individual you've met was a Zamichi, but interestingly enough, they were also a doctor as well, a research scientist that also has, in the medical field, I should say. I am the person who did this to you, Bartlett. He has one of these in his entourage. Look, I'm I'm not gonna lie, it's a long shot. Maybe you find them. You you rip off their arms and legs and force them to take it out. But I, knowing this person, they'd want nothing more than to see their experiments continue. You, uh, you think they're the ones responsible for that medical facility? A hundred percent. Look, I, I'm i good at what I do, but this is in a whole different ball, ballpark. I get it, man. Everyone has their speciality, but you're helping where you can. Third option, which, look, I'm not a religious man, but I always like to offer it up to my patients. Pray. Whatever God you believe in, Hope for the best. I'm sorry, Emery. I mean, could I, could I truthfully say it's not your fault? I appreciate that. At least someone sees clarity. Mm-hmm. Well, so, you know, with this mechanical device, like, you know, you're serum being chemical like what what is it suppressing so essentially when you killed Anita's that the person who sent us to find you her name is Anita Okay. you killed her significant other essentially what the serum does is it suppresses your heartbeat to essentially the point that it stops. It's a sedative. But then there's a second phase where 
it ignites all the rage, anger, and you turn. Now, the device in your chest is probably inert, but what's causing the pain is the aforementioned skin graft that's attached to your heart. I don't, I don't, there's no more serum inside you. So I don't think you'll turn randomly. Funny. I get that. No, no, no. Laugh. You, they, they say humor is the best medicine. All right. You handle it. Well. You're, you're handling it re- relatively well. In that case, Doc, you know, I'm, I'm looking at these CT scans and I think they're off because, you know, they, they don't show that dog in me. I don't, I don't. Oh, understand. that one wasn't funny. I don't. That underst- one was golden. I don't understand the reference. Uh, how old are you? Twenty-eight. Dude, two years limit. You are you not allowed to use the internet? No. <laughs> what, really? It's... I'm sorry. I shouldn't laugh. I'm sorry. That. That is truly not fun. Hmm. It serves its purpose. I, sure. I mean, okay, look, I, I know you're busy. I get what we got to find. What do you do for fun, man? I read. I research. Cast the okay. occasional spell. Oh. <laughs> It's called science, man. It's not bad. Okay, all right. Okay, well, damn, dude. That. I mean, okay, like you've seen a lot of, you know, a lot of honesty out of me. You know, just getting one thing honest. Like, like, <laughs> is this a situation you wanted to be in? What? Being a doctor. Or being oh no! Like I me. could figure that you wanted to be a doctor. The other thing. Um. Was it something I wanted to be? No, it was kind of sprung on me. Didn't really have much mm. of a choice. I'm sure you've heard of the Lysander family. Yeah. Well, tell you what, man. From... Hope it doesn't hurt as much as chest pain, but I can empathize with that. Yeah. I wanted to be what I am. Sure as shit, didn't want a little Tony Stark action. You saw the Avengers, right? Yes. I've... Yeah, you, I've, yeah, you get that reference. Yeah, yes. I didn't want that going on. You know, I don't get some iron suit. I get some, you know, ketamine that you've dolled up. But That's some, not as intense as ketamine, but... It is a sort of sedative. Sure. I don't know. I. Hey, look. I. I know they're intense. <laughs> Fen's got this all. Oh, I'm gonna take care of you. But like. I don't know. I'm just trying, man. I can't. I obviously like can't offer to like go get a beer with you or anything. That's fucking weird. But like. And I. Thanks. You're welcome. Um, look, I'll I'll leave it up to you if you want to tell them the truth. You want to tell everyone you're fine. That choice is up to you. You know, I think the truth has a funny way of getting out from those who don't want it. I got one last thing. One last thing. I'll get out of your hair, Doc. This Bartlett guy. Yeah. You didn't really say it with, like, a rosy font. (laughs) If anything, it's a shit font. Oh, okay. Cool. Answer your question. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It does a lot. And, and... Seeing the situation, I'd like to talk to the whole group again. Maybe I can offer a little insight to your mission. 
<laughs> when you put it that way, it definitely sounds like we're Power Rangers. Um, I don't know. You want to like do it by the papers and schedule a follow up? That sounds good. Cool. How do you, does your office call? Do you drop off the weird little marble again? <laughs> If is the number on the form correct? Yeah, yeah, man, this one fucking number. One of the nurses will get in contact with you. Okay, sounds good. I do you do appointments during the daytime? <laughs> do you think I do appointments during the daytime? I don't know, man. <laughs> this is all new to me. I work the graveyard shift okay. every night. Oh. <laughs> well, not every night. I, <laughs> I used to work the I graveyard shift every night, but I get it. Yeah. Okay, well, look alive. You take care of yourself, Emery. <laughs> <clears throat> Emery, you head out um, to the courtyard where Fen and Jazz have been waiting. Um, Joe. Is there anywhere in particular that you would have gone to, or are you just kind of getting out and getting away? Uh, he's getting out and getting away. You spend some time, you get out of the city, or not out of the city limits, but kind of away from where this hospital is, and you head toward one of the parks. You, you get that lingering feeling, that smell takes you back to, takes you back to where you had that vision in the Umbra, that park, that park that you saw you could go to it right now. You could follow your scent. You could follow your instincts. Wherever Gaia or Luna, whoever it was that was guiding you, showing you that vision, you could go. Yeah, he's allowing the beast to, to drive for a little bit, so he goes. You follow those instincts that you have. You follow the smell. That park takes a minute to gather where it is. You know it was closer to O'Hare. You head in that direction. Till you get to Quinn Park, is what it's called. A small park. This feels like where it could have been. You take your time, gather your surroundings, at least in the concrete urban setting, you can find a place where there are trees, where there are flora, where there are other animals. It's quiet here, but there's another presence. And you look around and you see an individual He stands up above. He has facial hair, brunette, dark, wears a jacket, and has a gun. You see a cigarette in his mouth. And as you look up, you see him looking down the sights. And we will cut. Oh! <laughs> you uh, <rat>. bro! <laughs> <laughs> And, yeah, I think that's where we'll end for tonight. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Come on, 50. <laughs> 
15 more minutes. I don't, I don't yeah. do that. I don't look. I did, I did have some other stuff for Fen. I, I mentioned to Emery that I, yes, I wanted to give some information. I was going to say, so. yes. I, um, I, you know what? We could do that now. Um, even though I know Stormbeard will be here next week if we want to sell But I will say for the sake of the, the scene, uh, we cut to there for Joe's scene. And we will find out next week what happens to Joe. But for now, we cut back to the hospital. I lived, bitch. Emery, you head outside and you see Fen and Jazz. Go on, go hug him. Jazz immediately stands to. up, goes to him. Hey, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. S standing in the doorway, giving you guys a moment, you do see Silas. Right. She, she's gonna put it. on like this really fake smile and be like, how did it go? <laughs> Being nice. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll be right back. Y'all go ahead and catch up. Yeah. Have fun. Are they gone? <laughs> Where'd Joe go? Oh, he needed to get some air. <sighs> Fucking asked him to stay. Yeah, well. That's all right. You know how he is. Fucking old heads, dude. <laughs> and I assume Emery will just tell me everything that's going because yeah. I want to make sure that Ben and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get yeah. Their time. Uh, Emery, do you. I just have to wonder do you tell Jazz everything? Silas told you all of the prognosis, or um, do you kind of flower it? No, um, I would like the the supercut would be like everything related to me, and none of the information yet related to who had done it, okay, uh, or any names. Just kind of like waiting for. Okay. For the, the next time we Voltron just, together. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just to see if Jazz had to make any insight rolls if you, if you were not telling her all of it. Um, we don't keep it. Do how I? We <laughs> Do That's I? not how we communicate. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh, Do you... Uh, actually, very quickly, Jazz, just make me a wits and insight. Um, okay. If you want it. Let's see. Insight and Can I roll wit. dice, storyteller? Is that what you have? Ooh. Two? I don't, oh, okay. Successes? And I didn't see any successes. Two successes? Yeah. Uh, you do kind of have an inkling that, like, this could be bad. Like, it's... There wasn't, it's not exactly, like, good news from what Emery is telling you, and it does... It does concern you. So. Yeah, she wouldn't pry further, mostly because yep. she just cares about his well-being. Yep. They'll find who did it later, but... Yeah. She's Fen, fine. It's late. <laughs> Fen, you head back to uh, Silas's office with him. Don't forget your backpack. There's a he grabs it. Bunch of ant, you know antidotes, serums, whatever you want to call it in there. Look, Fen, I'll be honest with you. I really don't know why you came back to the city. I understand you got shit to do. I got shit to do. I don't know what war path you're on. But just leave. Just go. Take your pack. Go back to wherever you are, Lamont, Bartlett, I don't know. Sorry, Bartlett's a town as well <laughs> like, in the Chicago <laughs> area. I totally forgot it was Caden's last name. You know, go back to Lamont. Schomburg. Rosemont. <laughs> and... There's eyes everywhere. 
Doc, I got a question for you. Yeah. You got a you got a home. I know you got a family, but you got a place you like to stay. You feel safe. Relatively. Imagine every time you try to go to that home, somebody walks in and keeps poking at you, reminded you that they see you and they want to make you as uncomfortable as possible. Take the things, take the people you love from you and they'll do it whenever they want to. Now, I told you the first time I met you, I don't want to be here. But every time I try to mind my business, somebody keeps trying to remind me that they can take my family away from me. And I'm sick of them trying to remind me of that. So I'll tell you what, there is no war path. There is no confrontation with you. As long as you stay the fuck out my way. Hmm. Well, and I should probably let you know. Look, like I said, don't know what you're doing. Don't really want to know. I have an inkling, but I don't want to know. Whatever you're after... You should know that whether it's Bartlett or Anita, there are a, my naive little sister decided to be a good idea to arm the people who are after you. <laughs> Don't laugh what they use she sent them silver bullets AR-15s probably a bunch of 9 mil all silver though alright I feel like I just feel like you should know that just be aware You know, when I came in this room, I thought about breaking your arm. Hmm. But I appreciate the information. Thank you, Doctor. And I'll say it once again. Whatever happens tonight, I advise you stay away from it. What time is it? 10.30? I still got six more hours here. All of these patients. Someone's got to save some lives, right? I appreciate you for that, at least. Guy could use the help, even if it is from interesting company. Guy is that? That's your home. Oh, like the astrological term of Gaia Earth there's so much y'all don't understand but that's alright you understand what I needed you to all yeah right, I'll leave your hospital alone and uh I'll uh pay your fellow business folks a visit if they keep stomping on my grounds just leave me out of it uh is there a reason why your sister thought it was a good idea to arm these folks well you remember the boy oh he's one of <laughs> yeah tell me about it I wasn't joking when she... Holding close? Yeah. Yes. I'm not going to bore you with the story, but yeah. Look, I... 
man to man, I particularly don't like the guy. Man to man. If he thinks it's a good idea to step up to me, even with silver bullets. You might see some tears in your sister's eyes soon. Take it easy, Doc. And he swings the backpack around, walks out the office. Take it easy, Fen. You head out back to the courtyard to the rest of the, your other two pack mates, one of them missing. And you leave this worm spawn, Silas Lysander Jr., to his office. And Silas, you return to your night, taking your appointments. And that is where <laughs> we will end our evening. Kindred and Garu alike, thank you for joining us this evening for the continuation of the story. Um, thank you to uh, Stormbeard for guesting of as Silas and the goat, the goat. giving some very important information for our Garu. Um, and uh, look, I don't normally end on those types of dramatic cliffhangers, um, but uh, you know, we got we got a dramatic cliffhanger. So um, you all have to just tune in next week to see what happens to Joe. Uh, and Emery, uh, ba based on his prognosis from the doctor. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen to Emery either. So uh, <laughs> thank you so much, Nothing. everybody. Uh, thanks, everybody, for, for watching. Um, thanks for, like, uh, again, like, I know we're new to Werewolf 5th Edition, so appreciate everybody uh, who has bared with us as we as I scour through the rule books, <laughs> as we used more gifts and, uh, than we did. Stop from our previous uh, uh, episode. But you know what, that's why we do, you know, we have a stream, we can take a minute to pause and look through and, and check the rules and check the roles that we need. So uh, thanks everybody. Um, but yeah, we'll be back on Thursday for the last episode. Uh, again, we're not, we're not airing on Friday because um, uh, players, we got some stuff to do on Friday. Um, but Thursday is when we will be live. Uh, if you can't make it Thursday, of course, it will be uploaded on YouTube the following day. So you could just watch it on Friday if you want. But we would love to have you live if you can join us for this, uh, s this conclusion of the mini series, the mini chronicle for our werewolves. Um, and of course, Tuesday, we will be back here on Magic RPG for our third episode of Eclipsed Hearts, which is our Girl by Moonlight campaign, Woo! which you can also check out uh, the VOD of that uh, on our YouTube if you want to catch up with that, with those episodes as well. So that's all for us. I, uh, thanks so much, everybody, and uh, we will see you next week. Don't forget to howl at the moon. Oh. Oh. Kindred, would Chris, you like you're to not howl? howling. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I do not howl. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. <laughs> See you next week. Oh, oh. yay. Tension.